Welcome back to AM Northwest. Okay, if you end up with leftover Halloween candy, you could just eat it, or our next guest has a better idea. Why not just use it in your next treat? We welcome back local baker and bakery owner, Mindy Crusado. Good to see you. You look Hi. gorgeous. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> um, okay, so let's talk about these. These are gorgeous little bats that you've made. Yes. And with sprinkles, a little kisses for eyes. Yeah, these are it. activated charcoal sugar cookies. That's a great really? way to naturally color something. Oh, spooky. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Back in the day, I actually used to use squid ink. Yeah, oh yeah, but I've heard of that. Uh, occasionally, like somebody's allergic to shellfish, or um, oh. if you accidentally dump too much, it kind of smells like a harbor. <laughs> uh, but okay, that's funny. <laughs> yeah, the activated charcoal, it's coconut plant-based, so um, yeah, I oh, just added great. like a, two tablespoons to my sugar cookie recipe, which will be online. Okay. Um, so yeah, we we'll just roll it Roll out it out, okay. And cut our bag. I'll do that, yep, you betcha. It's so fun what they have now for all sorts of, sh you know, yeah. cookies. Okay. Yeah, so cut, 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 and then, okay. yeah, magic of television. Do you have a, do you have a special um, requirement for like how deep it should be, like how? Thick Th it should be? This thick. Okay. <laughs> I hear what you're saying there. I never have any idea. Okay. Okay. I don't know. I think I tried to quantify. It's I probably wrote though. something on the recipe. Yeah. I probably wrote an eighth of an inch or something. Yeah. I gotcha. <laughs> okay. So once you do this. Uh, just bake it. This was 10 minutes in my. Oh, that's all. Okay. In, yeah. In my oven at home. My oven at work is probably like eight minutes because it's like super, super strong. Fine. Okay. But, um, and then I made a Marionberry glaze. Oh, wow. So my recipe that's going to be shared online yeah. is the standard sugar cookie recipe actually we've made before for other things. Yeah. But then it, the little optional additions of doing the Miriam Berry puree oh, wow. or other fruit purees. Okay. Um, I would discourage blueberry, however, because it's very high in antioxidants and it turns brown. Oh, so well, that's <laughs> not pleasant. Yeah, okay. you think it's cute at first. Yeah. <laughs> and then because it's Because like the color you have here on this is so yeah. pretty. Yeah. So the way we do this... The lavender. Um, is you hold it by its edges, okay, and then you belly flop it right into the glaze. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. We had a Halloween party at my house last night, and um, we made some of these cookies with Fun. like eight kids around uh -huh. my my table, and my six-year-old daughter, she's like, "Let me show you how to make it." Belly flop. <laughs> it was so cute. Uh, yeah, and then this is the point where um, you could. I brought some chocolate chips, but you could use okay. M and M's. You could use, Make the um, eyes. I crushed up some lollipops from my kids' lollipop ghost tree that right. we make every year. Oh, fun. That's like a fun um, sprinkle. Yeah, essentially, you could just chop up candy and put it as, you know. Chopped up a snicker top. bar? Yeah. Anything, yeah. Now, what is, what is, the, oh, this is just like another sprinkle. Oh, that makes it That's what we sparkly. use at the bakery. That's what we use. So is um, it like sugar? Yeah, um. It, it really helps with, so if you eat this like today or tomorrow, it, the glaze will be beautiful and shiny, mm -hmm. but if it's sitting for more than a day, the glaze will start to get like a dullness. Dull, right, um, right. So that helps like if you're shipping it, some um, oh. fully coating it with the sprinkles is a great way to preserve it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I love you that You wanna idea. dip some? Yeah, sure, I'll try that. Okay. And Belly flop, like your daughter says. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Let's try this, okay. Nice. Uh -huh. Okay. Shake, shake, shake. Shake it. And you can even kind of use the lip to. Whoop. What? What's that description again? Whoop. Yeah, that's. Whoop. Whoop. That's that's the noise it makes when okay. you do it. Okay. All right. I think I got it. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Yeah, and then we and melt some dark eyes. dark chocolate. I will say, don't melt. Don't think that you can melt like a Hershey's leftover Halloween candy and get this consistency. Yeah, it has to be melting chocolate, right? This is a, yeah, it's a higher quality chocolate. There's a higher quantity of cocoa butter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so those Halloween candy chocolates, they... That won't work. Um, okay. That they have like thickeners and emulsifying agents and lovely food science stuff. Yeah. Oh, I got you what you're saying. Look at that. Yeah. What, what got you interested in baking in the first place, maybe? Um, my mom was a terrible cook. <laughs> <laughs> I feel your pain. Okay. It's for sustenance, yeah. Helen. <laughs> and so you decided to teach yourself? 
Yeah, mostly, mostly yeah. I, I, I was always an early riser. I would get up early in the morning before the rest of my family yeah. and like just wreck the kitchen and oh, just be fun. flour and I would try to make homemade pancakes and the first batch I ever made, I was five years old, oh, wow. you know, early in the morning before anyone yeah. else woke up. And then my brother, um, my brother who's one year younger than me said, I love the cream filling of these pancakes because they were totally raw <laughs> on the inside. <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. That's uh, great. Here, do you okay, want to do so, Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. I'm not good at the um, making just it come hold, from... Just hold it so you uh, float a little above and, oh. and let it drape. There, there. There we go. Yay. Oh, I see. Uh huh. So you're you're creeping down a little. Float I'll a little bit. Uh -huh. Oops. Well, that I one has a weird that. eye. That has a. He's a zombie bat. Yeah, there we go. We, that didn't work <laughs> out so well. And you said the lollip the lollipop ghosts are just. It's just a tissue, and we take a sharpie and we draw. That's um, too funny. That's just something my kids and I do every yeah, year. I yeah, I love it. I love it. We're going to put the recipe on our website at k2.com. Mindy, thank you so thank much. You. Appreciate it. All right, we'll be right back with more AM Northwest. Don't go away. Looks so good. Oh, I didn't like it.